Good evening. I'd like to call the North Rural Village Board meeting for Monday, February 1st, 2021 to order. Um, have a silent prayer and meditation. Okay, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic, Republic which stands, stands one, one, nation, one nation, under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty justice, justice for all. all. <clears throat> okay, roll call, please, Mr. Basco. Mayor Gafino? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. Trustee Curtis? Here. Trustee Gately? Here. Trustee Lowry? Here. And Trustee Martinez? Here. Okay, item one under Village President Report. I'm uh, officially resigning from my uh, trustee post. Um, we don't have to take any action on that, Steve. That's just that or. Yeah, Kevin Drendel's on the phone as well, but uh, Kevin, I, we have no action on that, right? Just a straight resignation from the mayor. Right, and it can just be reflected in the minutes. Okay. Okay. Item two, I'd like to uh, appoint um, Carolyn Salazar to fill my seat through um, end of my term, which is sometime in May. Uh, give you a little background on her. She lived in North Rock for 19 years, uh, three grown children. Um, she's been on the North Rock Days Committee for the past two years and uh, attended village board meetings for the last two and a half years. Um, her occupation is um, the commercial title examiner. Um, so that's who I'd like to point to fill my spot. Any comments? Um, I have a comment. I would just like to be on record that I do not agree with this appointment. Not that I don't think she's a qualified candidate, but because she is running for village board, she's one of two candidates who are running. I don't think this should be, I don't think we should be appointing a candidate and giving uh, an endorsement, uh, kind of an endorsement to one candidate over the other. So I just like to be on record that I do not, I do not support this, this uh, nomination. Okay. Any other comments? Yeah, I, I like to add that uh, Carolyn has been attending our meetings for two and a half years, and she uh, certainly has earned uh, uh, this appointment. And it's uh, we're, look, we're not um, we're not nominating the Supreme Court justice here. We're uh, filling in a spot that's vacant that the that we really need to do for the for the village. So I, I strongly think that she's going to do an excellent job, and she's helped a lot of the road days. For those of us who are out picking up trash at two in the morning, we understand the need of having people volunteer in the, these village, um, these village things that we do. So, great appointment. Fully support you. Any other comments? So we have to do roll call, uh, Mr. Bosco. Yeah, or it it Kevin. doesn't need to be a roll call. It's advice and consent, so we can do a voice vote. If there are negative votes, votes then. Um, we should simply note how many. So, Aye. Like, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Aye. So then what's the next process? She is sworn in? Yes, at this time we have our deputy village clerk, Natalie Stevens on the Zoom. Uh, so she can actually swear Carolyn in as trustee. All right, Carolyn, are you ready? I am. Okay, I, Carolyn Salazar. I, Carolyn Salazar. Having been appointed by the village president. Having been appointed by the village president. With the advice and consent of the board of trustees. The advice and consent of the Board of Trustees to the Office of Village Trustee in the Village of North Aurora. To the Office of Village Trustee in the Village of North Aurora. Do solemnly swear or affirm. 
do solemn, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the state, United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of North Aurora Village Trustee to the best of my ability. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of North Aurora Village Trustee to the best of my ability. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, I just wanted to um, say thank you for this appointment. Um, I've lived in North Aurora for almost 20 years now. It's where I've raised my now grown th three grown children, um, the place I share with my husband, and certainly a place I'm proud to call home. Um, I wanted to commend the, the present trustees and former uh, village president, uh, Dale Berman, for their hard work over the years. I have seen so many improvements over the village in the last five years or so, and I very much look forward to working with the other trustees, the village president, and the staff. So I thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Welcome on board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, item number three, be the appointment and swearing in of the village clerk. Um, I'd like to appoint Jessie Watkins uh, to, that, to that role. She's been a resident for 13 years in North Aurora. She's been involved with the Mother's Club for that entire time as well. Um, has involved with the North Aurora River District Alliance, Norida for eight years. I think she chaired that. And then she sits on the executive board for North Aurora Days Committee for four years. Um, she's worked at the park district, school district, et cetera. So I asked her if she would um, take, um, take that seat through um, uh, May, I guess would be uh, up to the election. And um, I think she'd be a good fit and very, she'd, uh, very um, dependable and um, I think she'd fit well. So any thoughts or comments? Yeah, it's an excellent choice. Yes. But I think it's a four-year appointment. Well, there... it's only through the election, isn't it? I think yeah. it's through the election and you have to reappoint her. Is that correct, Steve? Or that's Kevin? Correct, according to Attorney Drundell. Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, so, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Okay. Congrats, Jesse. Is she on here? Jesse, you out there? I am here, yes. Okay. I'm muted. All right, Jesse, you ready to get sworn in? Ah, yes. Hi. <laughs> I, Jesse Watkins. I, Jesse Watkins. Having been appointed by the village president. Having been appointed by the village president. With the advice and consent of the board of trustees. With the advice and consent of the board of trustees. To the office of village clerk in the village of North Aurora. To the office of village clerk in the village of North Aurora. Do you solemnly swear or affirm do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of North Aurora Village Clerk to the best of my ability, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of North Aurora Village Clerk to the best of my ability. What? Thanks, Natalie. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, get to work. Yes. <laughs> I got you covered for this meeting, Jesse. Oh, are you sure? Because yeah. I'm ready to jump in. Up to you. You got your steno pad and the uh, pencil? And yeah, I'm, I'm right. typing away. All right. But Natalie, go for it. All right. Okay, so last item under Village President Report would be... Um, <clears throat> appointment to the services committee. So um, Ms. Elzaro will take my spot on that committee. Um, and I wanted to make Mike Larry the chairman of it. Since I was chairman of it, I'd like to make Mike chairman of it and um, Ms. Elzar to sit on that committee. Um, Kevin, do we have to, any vote on that or? Yeah, it, it's advice and consent. So a voice okay. vote, a voice okay. vote. All right, any comments? I'm willingly accept it, and I'm very honored to serve it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Mark, for the appointment. Sure. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Okay, um, that concludes that part of it. Now we go to audience comments. Is there anybody, um, Dave, in there for audience comments? Uh, no, Mayor, I don't see anyone asking to speak. Nothing there. Trustee comments? I have a comment. Yep. Um, I was asked by a resident a couple days ago about the upcoming village elections, and they had, you know, they had a question about well, who's running, how do we find out information about them, um, you know, who's, a, what party are they affiliated with, and I know that we don't declare parties in the election, um, but I was going to propose that going forward we start proposing parties just because. With these small village elections, you know, most people don't go out and get a website. There's not a lot of easily accessible information about each candidate. Um, it's very hard to find out which side of the political spectrum a candidate is on uh, because most don't advertise on their signs. And just looking at today's current political climate, I, I do think it would be, it's a little bit of a disservice to the voters not to let them know exactly who it is that they're voting for. So I would like to propose going forward that our candidates declare a party affiliation. We would actually have to change our um, form of government by referendum to do that. In other words, the, the non-party um, form of election that we do was uh, passed by referendum years ago. So if we wanted to change it, we'd have to do that by referendum. Well, that's just something I think we should take a look at and you know whatever the steps would be, but I think it makes sense in you know, 2021 that our, our voters know who it is that they're voting for. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Anybody else? Okay. I, I would like to say again uh, on the record that uh, I heard from a lot of residents uh, this past weekend and commend the Public Works Department for the fantastic job they did clearing the roads um, you know, they, they were done and our roads were clear by seven in the morning, Sunday morning. So uh, I'd like to thank our public works. They did a fantastic job. Yep. Ditto, ditto from here. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Th thank you. I'll pass that on to the guys yep. and um, they'll be glad to hear it. Great work. Yes. Uh, awesome job. Just a yeah. question, uh, Mark, uh, under village president, item four, you omitted. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. Can we go back up to that? Yes. Is that okay? All right, so item four, um, appointment of mayor pro tem. So that was my post when I, when Mayor Berman was in office. So um, I wanted to appoint Mark Gately. He's a senior, most senior trustee and I'd like to appoint him as the mayor pro tem. Any comments or any thoughts or? Thank, thank you, Mark. I appreciate it very much. And, and I'm an I. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Thank you, Mark. Okay. We're down to consent agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Call the roll. I'll, 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 as we discussed before, if it's all right with uh, Jesse and Natalie, I'll still call the roll tonight just so that it doesn't get confusing. So I have Trustee Carroll. Yes. Trustee Curtis. Yes. Trustee Gately. Yes. Trustee Lowry. Yes. Trustee Martinez. Yes. And Trustee Salazar. Yes. All right. Thank you. New business. Uh, item one, John. Thank you, Mayor and Village Trustees. This item is a consideration of an engineering agreement with EEI Enterprises in the amount of $48,724 for well five modifications. What these modifications include are the installation of a pitless adapter, a valve vault, an air release valve, a metering pit, and some electrical work. Essentially, what it means in layman's terms is we're taking a pipe and we're proposing to put it underground to prevent it from freezing and cracking. Um, in the memo, if you take a look at some of the pictures, if you have it available to you, if you don't, I can describe them. Um, what you'll see is there's a horizontal pipe going into a brick wall. On that horizontal pipe, there's a blue coupling. The blue coupling is slightly um, displaced or offset on an angle. And as the pipe goes into the building, you'll see that the building's starting to crack as well. So um, what this project does is it takes that green horizontal pipe, puts it underground, and prevents it from exposure to the elements 
And also with the movement of that building, um, it prevents it from heaving that pipe uh, up and down. In the future, that building would be um, demolished. The, uh, the, the things inside it include kind of the current metering, the air relief valve, and it used to be where we'd use chlorine gas to um, treat the water. All of that would be proposed to go away. That would be under a separate contract. Um, EEI has had experience designing these, um, these form of installations in the past. This project, um, the engineering was slightly more than we had budgeted for. We still have enough money to complete the project in the budget. In addition, we'd propose to split the cost between this fiscal year and the next fiscal year. So the total amount of $48,000 would be the total amount for the project, whereas we had proposed to expend $24,888 in design this fiscal year and $23,000 for construction in the future. So it's the staff recommendation to execute the agreement with EEI in the total amount of $48,724. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion? I can see how um, all that foundation around that pipe is all cracked. Did you see that in the photographs? Yes. Yeah. yeah that was that's one pretty... of the concerns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all that expansion. Any, any other thoughts? Okay. Call the roll, please. Okay. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Martinez? Yes. And Trustee Salazar? Yes. Okay, item two, Bill. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Item two is um, a motion to designate uh, the signers on the village's cash and investment bank accounts. Um, so with the turnover uh, with the new mayor, this would update the signers to be, um, as was past practice, the village administrator, finance director, treasurer, um, and the village president. This allows us to maintain our proper internal controls, segregation of duties, and making sure we're separating the um, people authorized to do transactions uh, from the reconciliation of bank statements and um, other items. Um, so this would allow us to move forward with updating all of our uh, accounts um, as appropriate. Motion approved. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carroll? Yes. Trustee Curtis? Yes. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Martinez? Yes. And Trustee Salazar? Yes. Okay, item number three under new business, um, Mr. Basco. Thank you. Item number three on new business is regard to the uh, state of emergency that was declared under uh, previous Mayor Berman. Uh, basically, the acknowledgement of an emergency only lasts for a certain period of time by statute. Um, what we did back last year was when we realized that COVID was going to go on beyond more than 30 days rather than continuously go back for uh, extensions. Uh, the board granted the uh, executive authority during in the state of emergency to the mayor beyond that 30 day period. When the mayor resigned and uh, Mayor Gofino took over, we just, uh, we being Kevin Drendel, our attorney, and I thought it was a good idea to bring it back and reaffirm that all of the state of emergency still exists and that this resolution also grants those same powers to Mayor Gofino and also extends the current executive orders that were already issued. Motion to approve. Second. Second. I'd like to. I'd like to to know what were the four executive orders that were issued. Uh, so the, attached in your packet, we have one of them was for liquor sales and delivery. So there was one where we allowed people to uh, pick up liquor directly from curbside. Okay. And then one of them was uh, the ability to have outdoor um, dining outside in the parking lot areas in an undefined area. Um, like where people didn't have it defined before, but then we allowed them to define it into parking stalls in front of their adjacent businesses, as long as it met certain criteria. Um, 
the, I'm trying to remember what the other two are. Um, one was delivery of alcohol and pickup um, so that when you order food, you could actually have it um, picked up and delivered as opposed to just going and buying it from the store directly. So anyone with a liquor license had that. And outside, extending outside dining hours. Right. Was the last one. So are, are these executive orders the only ones that uh, the mayor has uh, has authority over, or is this any executive order that, that doesn't have a, a time restraint on it? These were the four executive orders that Mayor Berman um, executed when he was in office. Uh, they've been in effect, uh, in effect for several months. So what is the ordinance going forward? If like say Mark wants to ban outdoor dining hypothetically or indoor dining or something like that. Well, I think the motion confers emergency powers transfers from, from Mayor Berman to Mayor Gafino. Right, so, but it, is it only bound for, to those? For these four items or other things? I guess that's what she's asking, other things or? I, I'm reading it as fully you were giving you emergency powers just like Mayor Dale Berman did. Correct, and it's both. It's extending the current executive orders to make sure that they didn't, ex uh, that they, that they don't cease now that Mayor Berman has left. And they're also extending those same powers to Mayor Gafino should he want to issue executive orders during the pandemic. And there would be no vote from the board for approval on that? Correct. The, the vote is that you're extending. I, I, I don't support that then. I think we need to, now that COVID, you know, we, we know what's going on with COVID for the most part. We've had a year of it. I, I think we need to, to rein this in a little bit. I, 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 I trust the, our current mayor, um, but Thank I, you. I, tend, I tend to agree that uh, I think that I, I, it, there doesn't seem to be an emergency anymore. We're, we're kind of on the upswing. And so any issue with regard to uh, restaurants or liquor licenses, I would think we would have time to bring before the board and, and, and debate it. I mean, we did with the the tents and, and stuff like that. So that not that I don't support the need for an emergency, in, but, but I just think we're kind of on, at, at what point do we declare the emergency over and, and kind of go back to regular proceedings? So by the resolution uh, that was originally approved by the board, essentially the board, there was two issues. If the governor declared that there wasn't a pandemic anymore, or the board chose to bring a vote forward to rescind the powers of the mayor's executive orders, those were the two conclusions that would basically wipe the executive orders off. Um, in this case, if the board doesn't, and, and I'll have to defer to Kevin, if the board doesn't want to extend the mayor's powers, that might be separate from the executive orders that are currently in place. And whether or not we'd want to keep those in, in place, I don't know if the board would want to still have those four executive orders because those were, those were all mirroring things that the state allowed that during the pandemic. So for instance, a governor would say, we now allow curbside liquor, the state liquor code is changing to uh, help businesses. And then within a day, uh, traditionally, the past mayor would then issue an executive order making what the state made legal, legal in North Aurora. So it wasn't that they were extending anything beyond um, basically what the state was allowing us to do during the pandemic. I, uh, I support I support the motion and the to keep it as is for Mark, as I trust his judgment. And as far as like if the emergency powers that we we ultimately we have now, I like to keep in place because I think they're all good. So I, I, I am a, a yes on, on the motion and I think we need to keep it. And I trust Mark's judgment. I trust Mark too, but I think we need to, you know, our job is to be trustees of the village and we're supposed to be, you know, taking care of the best interest of our residents and to give so much power to one person without in, input from the board, I don't think is in the best interest of our residents. Well, well no, the, the, the power... It's been a year. I mean, this isn't something new that we don't know about. We don't know the trajectory. We've got a vaccine in the works. I think it's time now to take a look at this issue and scale it back a little bit. I trust Mark completely, but you know, I mean, our job is to take a look at the issue and make the appropriate adjustments if needed. Uh, I, I, 
I, I, I agree with both of you. <laughs> I'm going to play devil. I, I'm okay with this motion currently going forward, but I would like to see uh, in the next month or so it, that we really take a look at a deeper look at this as a board uh, and see what we need to continue and what we don't need to continue moving forward. Um, because I, I think that, it, I mean, we're, we're all sworn trustees, and I think the more transparency and discussion there is, the better. And But I do, I, I obviously, I see the need for quick response if something comes up. So I'm okay moving forward with this motion tonight, but I would like to see us scale this back or at least look at it and discuss it in a future meeting. Myself, I'm fine either way. I, you know, can also agree with Laura as well. Coming from the trustee seat, I, you know, I'm big on conversation and, uh, um, you know, transparency, but just, um, you know, there's, um, um, you know, having conversation with the whole board. So it um, doesn't matter to me. So, I mean, however you want to do it, you want to keep these in place and come back and visit it. Whatever. I mean, I, I do like the board. I, uh, I agree with it, you know, because of the sense of urgency uh, that, that may be out there. And, uh, um, you know, I, again, we can revise it at a later point if that's what you wish. I mean, uh, I, I don't feel like our our trustee uh, um, rights and input, it's being um, taken for granted in any way. I, I think that it's, it's still there, you know, and uh, very well respected. But I do understand the sense of urgency that could still arise uh, for a matter or another. So, for for right now, I, I would I would agree on keeping everything as it is. Too. Steve, can I ask you a question just for a point of clarification for yeah. myself? Did you say that the board could make a motion to rescind those powers at at a board meeting at a future date if that's what they chose to do? Correct. When uh, when it was approved to Mayor Berman, that was how it was worded, is that the board has the power to take those powers away from the mayor by vote. Okay. I mean, I would be for supporting the continuance of the executive order because we do have a remedy if at some point um, the board didn't agree, then the board could take up a vote to rescind those powers. You know, I'm not looking to get involved in, obviously, uh, from a staff perspective, we don't get involved with the voting back and forth on the issue itself, the, the policy of it. But with, you know, with our attorney on the phone, the one thing I would be interested in is before a vote was taken place tonight is what this actually means for the existing executive orders that are currently in place right now, should the board vote no for it. Because some of those existing uh, executive orders are to allow businesses more opportunity to actually sell outdoors and, and, and do curbside. And so I just wanna make sure that that's clear that if, it's, if they're two separate issues, they're just combined in one ordinance. So we could break them apart is what the, if the board wanted to do that, or if they wanted, if you wanted to bring it back at another date, you could do that as well. Leave it, at, leave it on and let's just do a roll call vote. I mean, that's on there. I'd like to break it apart because I, you know, I don't want to do anything to the detriment of our businesses. But I also think that, you know, again, I, I don't think we should be granting, you know, unilateral power to one person on the board right now. There's been there's been a motion in a second. Uh, I say call the question. Was there a second? Yes. Second. Okay. Uh, roll call, please, Steve. Trustee Carroll. Yes. Trustee Curtis? No. Trustee Gately? Yes. Trustee Lowry? Yes. Trustee Martinez? Yes. And Trustee Salazar? Yes. Okay. That Mr. Mayor, could I just say, it, it, I know we had talked in a prior meeting about the uh, giving grant money for outside dining. Can we revisit that since outside dining has been allowed again or indoor dining? Uh, maybe at our next meeting or, or in, in re to go along with these executive orders, maybe if we're, we're going to give that money to help our businesses along through the spring uh, to make people feel better about going out to our restaurants. Sure. Um, Steve, can the staff come up with some conversation on that or some direction? Sure. So you want to talk about um, 
sort of what we were talking about a few months ago, outdoor dining possibilities. Right. I think, you know, now would be a good time. Uh, the county just released a lot of funds to businesses for uh, COVID relief. So it probably makes sense to revisit that. Uh, we kind of paused the program because of that, because they were looking to give out uh, COVID funds to businesses. So we can do that. Thank you. Great, thank you. Okay, any old business? Any committee reports? Trustee comments? Okay, uh, administrator report. Sorry, I was just taking notes. Uh, no report tonight, Mayor, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, attorney's report? Uh, no report. All right, um, finance, Mr. Bill, Hannah? No report, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, community development, Mike Toth? No report, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. Uh, Chief Fisher? Uh, no report tonight, sir. Uh, Public Works, Mr. Laskowski? No report, thank you, Mayor. Just want to echo what uh, Trustee um, Carroll said about, you know, the great job plowing. We've always, they've always done a good job. I mean, and these, you know, they work when it starts and work till it's done. And uh, I think uh, Mr. Bosco said it was a 14, or no, I think you said, John, it was 14 hour event. Yep. I mean, that's, we really appreciate that. A lot of good comments, so. Thank you. Uh, like, yeah. They clean the, the sidewalks too. The, uh, you know, where the crosswalks are, they cleaned those off and did a nice job. So kudos. No exact session. Correct. That's correct. Okay. Motion adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. All right. We'll start the committee whole shortly. <laughs>